This is 333 Crypto. As always, I am doing my daily DeFi update. Please understand everything I say is hypothetical, it's speculation, it's conjecture. I am not a financial advisor, so please make no financial decisions based upon anything I say. All right, well, hey, I'll tell you, yesterday everything went green. The market was looking good. Um, you know, folks were saying, hey, the stimulus checks are coming. There's a lot of money that's going to come over into crypto. And we saw this pump here where we saw Bitcoin basically rise from, you know, 57K up here close to the all time high of 61,700 uh, 61, or so. Um, and then it retraced all the way back down here to 56K. Um, you know, folks, A, if you're relying on that stimulus check, I feel for you. That's why I have my channel. I'm trying to find ways to help folks out. If, if we can take a $10,000, um, you know, or a $1,000 stimulus check and we can make it $10,000, then we've done our job. Now, I don't give financial advice. I'm not, I'm not a financial advisor, but you can use your wisdom. You can learn and you can perhaps take a little something and make it more. And that's why we are here. We are here to teach and we are here to grow together. But I feel for you if you don't have a job. And I would just say, try to dig deep, try to be a better person, get on your knees and pray, and just hope that somehow in any type of negativity, in any type of pain, something better can happen. Um, I'm telling you, life is not easy, but if you get through the tough parts, things can be better. So if you're relying on the stimulus check, I get it. Um, a lot of us uh, have suffered during this uh, economic decline, but we really need to get the country back to work because we cannot print out of this. We can't print money infinitely. Folks haven't been working for a year and the economy needs to open up and we need to do something because America is not isolated. We are part of a global economy and uh, the other folks are open and the other folks are doing things. Um, so anyway, that's just my little rant um, because I just feel for folks. But let's see what we can do here with Bitcoin. Let's see what we can do with crypto and let's try to find gems. So anyway, Bitcoin has retraced a bit. I think we're going to see a little sideways trading perhaps. Um, but I do think in the long run we continue to go up. I just think it's that simple. Ethereum at 1787.88 is looking good, down 2.1% for the week. I think it's held its own. If you go back here on the 30-day with Ethereum, the lowest number we've seen in, a th in 30 days is about 1,300. I'm not convinced we'll retrace to that, but we do need to keep that number in the back of our mind. I do think adding Ethereum is a no-brainer because I do think in time it goes to $10,000. That's just my opinion, not financial advice. Now, Cardano um, has, is up 9.2% for the week. It's really done well. And it has made a nice run. So we're going to pay a little bit of attention to Cardano. Um, as Cardano does a lot of things, um, you know, and, and we'll chat about it and learn more about them as we go along. If you go back on the 30-day chart for Cardano, it was as low as $0.86, cents, and now it's trading at $1.23. So let's go back here a little bit more and look at Polkadot. Everybody knows I love Polkadot. We were chatting about this when it first came out at around $3. It's at $35. Um, and I do think there's a lot of upside here. I think this goes to $100. But we do have to remember that Polkadot is early. It's not as battle tested as Ethereum. But I do think it has tons, tons of potential. So let's scroll down here and go to DeFi because DeFi is what we love. DeFi is what we do. Um, remember, folks, the DeFi total market cap continues to rise. You know, you might see these retracements, but we're at an all-time high today almost. $90 billion locked up in the DeFi market cap. $90 billion. And that just continues to run. Why does it continue? Well, because DeFi is the future. It is the future of banking. It is the future of all things. Um, financial, in my opinion. So I wanted to touch base about a few little things that I thought were pretty neat that were going on. Um, number one, if you go here to Yearn Finance, they had a nice little pop because they've been doing a few things differently. Um, so let's look at Yearn. Now, if you follow my channel, you know we were looking at YFI when it came out at around $600 to $1,000. It's run all the way to $35,000. they have had some news here recently. 
which I do think is going to help the urine. Well, number one, urine. Andre Cronje, the brains, the folks behind urine are brilliant. They're always coming up with new things. It's almost hard to stay on top of what they are doing. Um, but look at the total value locked in the urine finance protocol, folks. It's exploding here. I mean, that's what Bantech said. It is exploding. But that's a nice run for urine right there with the total value locked up in the protocol. And if you scroll down here a little bit more, I thought this news was big. I uh, posted this on my Twitter. Um, and what they've done is Urine Finance has done an integration with Zapperfy. I tell you, if you haven't used Zapper, you need to give it a shot. I love Zapper and I use it myself. But they have done a, a, an integration with Zapperfy that allows anyone to uh, basically enter into a uh, Urine Finance vault in seconds and, exp and use the Urine Finance protocol to generate returns on their money. So if you want to learn about this, you can go to the urine finance Twitter yourself and check it out. But that I believe is part of the reason that we've seen this nice little run here in the past week on urine finance. Um, it ran here from 34 K way up to 37 K. And now we have a bit of a retracement. Don't forget that there are only, um, you know, the total tokens for urine finance. That's kind of the key. I like protocols that have a small number of tokens. Their circulating supply is 36,666 max supply. Now, if you go back here to DeFi, we'll look at a few other ones that I think we need to pay attention to. Don't forget PancakeSwap was involved in this big hack. Um, someone hacked their DNS server. We saw a significant drop in price in the past week. Um, I'm not, I don't follow PancakeSwap closely. I just had to bring that up because of the server issue. Now, Bancor, folks, we were getting this really cheap. We don't follow it super close, but if you go back 180 days, we were getting this at around 80, 90 cents, and now it's at $7.72. The Bancor network has done a lot of novel things recently. They've attracted a lot more money to the protocol. Um, I won't get into the details of it. I think we might touch upon it in some future videos. But the total liquidity is right here. It's one billion six hundred and forty-seven million, and and uh, that's a good reason uh, for this uh, rise in price that we've seen. More money means a higher rise in price. Chainlink, of course, is doing great. Look at Link over the past uh, ninety days. This is an incredible run. Um, way down here at about ten dollars. Chainlink's at twenty-nine dollars and sixty-seven cents. Anybody that knows anything about cryptocurrency knows that Chainlink does uh, basically oracles. Um, they provide feedback onto the chain about the prices of things, and that's done via oracles. Um, and they just are the dominator in that space. And because they are the dominant player, uh, and because there a lot of folks are buying into the protocol, you've seen that nice run in the price. So the one-inch token, I've been talking a lot about that lately. Um, I, like I said, if you missed out on SushiSwap or if you missed out on Uniswap, the one-inch protocol is going to give you a chance to get into a decentralized exchange, I think, at a very reasonable price. It's ranked 99, and I think this can move up into the top 50. Um, that's just my opinion, not financial advice. But if you go up here, you can see, uh, let me show you this. The one-inch protocol kicks off a new liquidity mining program where you can mine very easily and earn rewards using the one inch protocol. This was a big deal and I think that is why we have seen the run in the one inch price. Um, you know, if you remember, just I literally was making videos about one inch here recently. If you go back 14 days when it was trading at around $3 and 50 cents. Um, and I was saying I thought there was some upside and we've gained a dollar. So that is a good sign. And again, what do we do here on this channel? We find good protocols and we talk about them. I continue to say the Curve protocol is undervalued, but it is up 20% for the week. Um, scroll down here a bit more. Now, there are two. Uh, it's hard to believe we had to go to page two to get to these gems that I'm fixing to talk about. But Yam, folks, I was telling you at a dollar, Yam has a lot of upside. They work closely with UMA, and they're still ranked at 435. Their valuation is only a market cap of $53 million. And I've watched this. I told you at around a dollar that we had to watch this protocol. Here we are, were below a dollar in December, and now we're up at $4.48. I think with this low market cap and with what these folks are up to and what they're doing, 
I think there is a lot of up, upside for Yam. That's just my opinion. I talked about you stonks and how they're bringing stocks onto the product onto the uh, blockchain, and they're doing that via synths of the stocks. I told you about UGAS, which they're involved with. I talked about some of the integrations they're doing um, with other protocols. I'm telling you, this one is a little gem. You have to pay attention to YAM, Y-A-M. Another one that's hiding down here at 109 is the Keep 3RV1. This is an Andre Cronier creation. They are doing things now where what, what they're going to do is handle a lot of the technical stuff for other protocols. And they're showing how by doing that, other protocols can save money. So in essence, they're going to be providing services to other protocols. Um, and that, that just gives them a lot of upside. Right here from Bantech, who's affiliated with YFI. If you are developing a project, consider offloading maintenance to the Keep3R network. I think this token is being held down. I think there's a lot of potential upside here, so we need to pay attention to KP3R. Look at this ranking, 437. It is deserving of a much higher ranking. It only has a circulating supply of 219,000 tokens. We talk about this protocol, but as I say, folks, we talk a lot about, about a lot of things a lot. But when I talk about something more and more and more and more, you should get the hint. Again, not financial advice, just the words of a madman, okay? And that leads me to um, uh, CORE, C-O-R-E. There is big news coming in the pipe for CORE. Everyone knows the CORE protocol is one of my favorites. They are basically are, are building a decentralized exchange themselves. I like decentralized exchanges. They are going to be working with the Delta protocol, which really is built on top of the CORE protocol. And Delta will be coming out probably next Monday or Tuesday. That should increase churn in the core vaults, and with the core vaults getting more activity, we should see more rewards, and we should see a rise in the core price. Now, we have been patient on this one. We have been patient for many months, and that's not because the protocol is doing nothing. They are working hard behind the scenes, developing an excellent machine. So don't misunderstand. Sometimes you have to wait for a good protocol to evolve. Lend, which is Ave. Okay, synthetics. A lot of those protocols early on were trading for pennies for a year, even a year and a half before they actually started running because excellence isn't something that just pops and drops. It is built and it grows slowly. So don't forget that. Now, you all know I'm following the Hoge protocol. And the Hoge protocol is a meme protocol and it just came out. I started following it for fun. Uh, the token is just incredible. There are 31,212 people that have bought into the protocol, and these are hodlers, people that are holding on to the token. Um, the, the protocol has already burned 581 billion tokens. This protocol, every time a transaction occurs, 1% of the tokens that are outstanding burns. Also, anytime a transaction occurs, 1% is rewarded to the holders of the token. So this is a deflationary protocol. It has a big community. It's really starting to get a lot of support behind the scenes. And at 0 .000377, I would say it's very inexpensive. Again, this one's a real risky one. This is a meme protocol. It's not the type of thing I typically follow. I'm kind of just doing this for fun. Um, and I said I would, and I am doing it. we got to have some fun once in a while. It can't be all just Mr. Serious uh, from a DeFi perspective. So let's move on uh, to the next one. I wanted to inter just, just introduce this to you real quick. This is Parsic, P-A-R-S-I-Q. Um, this is something I want you to learn about. It is a blockchain data uh, transactor. What it does is it connects blockchain activity to off-chain apps and devices. Monitor and secure DeFi applications, build custom event triggers, and power real-time automations using the Parsec protocol. So if I wanted to monitor my tokens, um, I could use this protocol to get alerts via you know, different apps and different things, different integrations. It's really kind of like a data aggregator. And I know that's not technically a pure DeFi play, but it is somewhat a DeFi play. You can go here to their Twitter and learn about Parsec um, and what they're doing. You know, they, they're partnering with Injective Labs. They're doing some real good partnerships. 
Um, I just find this to have a lot of potential, which is why I'm kind of bringing it to your attention. That is the Parsec, P-A-R-S-I-Q protocol. That is the PRQ token. It's at $1.54. It has a max supply of 500 million. If you go back here to max on the uh, graph here, um, you know, again, you could have got this at 0.06 in August of last year, even as low as a penny. Um, and that's what I mean. Sometimes it takes a while for good protocols to evolve. So this is another one we need to keep an eye on. So, so I'm not going to keep the video too long. We are going to call it quits for the day. Please hit the like button. Know that I appreciate you. God bless, and I will see you tomorrow.